Hello everyone, welcome to click to cloud In previous two videos of OpenShift Enterprise installation script series, we saw successful deployment of OpenShift Linux Broker and Linux Node. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy OpenShift Windows Node on your machine. The IP and hostname displayed here will be used in the demonstration. Let's move ahead with the demonstration. We first need to plan system requirements. Basic system requirements are displayed on your screen. For OS, we are using Windows Server 2012 R2. We are using RAM of 10 GB with 150 GB hard disk and 4x core processor. For hostname, we have winnode.openshift.example.com. The displayed configuration is not the minimum requirement. Displayed are the prerequisites for Windows Node deployment. So the supported operating systems are Windows Server 2012 and Windows Server 2012 R2. If you are planning to use MS SQL cartridges, then you need to install SQL Server on Windows Node. Otherwise, SQL Server is not mandatory. Our MS SQL cartridge supports 64 bit versions of SQL 2008 R2, SQL 2012, and SQL 2014. Next, we need to register DNS on Linux Broker for Windows Node. For that, we have to log into the broker server and use the displayed OO register DNS command. Then we need to do the given entry in broker server in host file. We also need to do the given entries in Windows Node host file so that broker and Windows Node communicate with each other. Now let's do it practically. We have logged into the broker server and we are ready to register the DNS. Let's run the OO register DNS command. Here you can see that we have passed the parameters win node, the IP address of the Windows node, the domain, and the broker DNS server. Press enter. We can check it by the ns lookup command. Here we can see that the win node is successfully registered with 211 that is the broker server. Now we need to edit the host file of broker and add the host name of Windows node. This is the host file. We have already added the IP address and the host name of the Windows node. Let's save it. We have completed the DNS settings on broker. Now let's move to the Windows node. We are here on the Windows node. We need to edit the host file for Linux broker and Linux node. Here is the host file. We have already added the broker IP address and the broker FQDN. And also for the Linux node. Now we are done with the DNS prerequisites. Coming back to discussing prerequisites, we require other prerequisite softwares to complete Windows node deployment. You can download the prerequisites exe from the displayed URL. It will extract all the softwares for you. Let's extract the softwares from the exe. We are here on the Windows node and we are ready to install the prerequisites. We have already downloaded the prerequisites exe in the downloads folder. Also we have downloaded OpenShift.NET solution kit which contains WinNode auto installer which will be required to deploy Windows node. Let's first run the prerequisites exe. Click on accept. It will start extracting all the applications that are required for configuring Windows node. It will take 20 to 30 minutes to complete all the extraction and the wizard will close after completion. Now let's check the extracted applications on the specified location. These are all the extracted applications. 
all the applications will get installed automatically through WinNode Auto Installer. So let's go to the OpenShift.NET solution kit. Here we have the WinNode Auto Installer that is OpenShift Windows Installer. Let's run it. This is the main window where we have few options like Review Installation Guide, Install Prerequisites, Install Windows Node, and Patch Update. Let's check out Installation Guide. This guide will help you with the tool and Windows Node deployment. Let's install prerequisite applications that we extracted before. You can see the list of applications that we extracted and are going to install. Click Next. Accept the license agreement and click Install. This will take close to 45 minutes to complete with the installation of all the applications. The installation has started. You will be able to see the installation logs. In between the installation, the machine will restart and then we need to run the tool again and follow the steps to install prerequisites again from the main window of the tool. Here you can see that the installation of all the prerequisites have finished. Clicking on finish will restart the machine and then we can start with the deployment of Windows Node. Let's click on finish. Now we are ready to install the Windows Node. Let's rerun the installer. Click on Install Windows Node. You can see the installer wizard here. Here we have to provide information like Windows hostname, broker hostname, cloud domain, M Collective PSK plugin. There are two options in it. A simple thing and unset. For OpenShift Enterprise, we need to select a simple thing, and for OpenShift Origin, we need to select unset. Here we will be selecting a simple thing. Let's fill up all the information. Under M Collective configuration, we have M Collective username, M Collective password, M Collective port, which is also available in client.cfg on the Linux broker. You can enter the information by checking the checkbox. Under switch parameters, we have checks, M Collective, Ruby. Here you can skip prerequisite checks or the installation of M Collective and Ruby applications as required, otherwise leave it as it is. Under Embedded Cartridges, we have MS SQL Server. If we select any SQL Server cartridge, then we need to install database as well on the Windows node. In this demonstration, we are not using SQL Server. Let's click on Install. It will take close to 20 minutes for Windows Node to install. You can see the done message after the successful configuration of Windows Node. You can also see the configured services. Let's press enter to continue. We have successfully configured the Windows Node. Now let's see the cartridge directory. Here you can see the list of cartridges available with us. We can also see the services on our machine.
here we have M Collective and the SSHT service running. Now let's import cartridges to the broker. We are here on the broker server to import WinNode cartridges. But before importing the cartridges, we need to create the district for Windows and we'll add the Windows node to that particular district. Let's check the connectivity first by using the OOMCO ping command. Here we can see that the win node is reachable to the broker. Now let's create the district for the windows. Here is the command O admin control district create. Here we have selected the windows platform and the name for the district is Windust. Press enter. We can see that the district is successfully created with the name Windist on the Windows platform using a small gear size. Now let's add Windows node to that Windows district. Here is the command to add Windows node to the district O admin control district add node. The district is Windist and the node is WinNode. Press enter. We can see that the WinNode is successfully added to the Windows district. Now we are ready to import the cartridges. To import cartridges, we have this script. We will copy this script and paste it to the broker. This script will clean all the cartridges and clear the broker cache and then will re-import all the cartridges from the node. Here we can see that the .NET cartridge and the WinDIY cartridge have been successfully added. We are now ready to create the first application. Let's go to browser. Let's log into the broker server. Click on create your first application. You can see the list of cartridges under other types. .NET 4.5 and Windows DIY cartridge. Let's click on .NET cartridge to create .NET application. Let's give name to the .NET application. And make it scalable. It is mandatory to select scalable for .NET application. Make sure you have selected scale with web traffic under scaling option. Now let's create application. It will take some time for the application to get created. Here you can see that the application has successfully created. This is the application URL. Then we have .NET 4.5 cartridge using 1 GB storage and small gear. Now let's click on the application URL. Here you can see the environment variables. So in this video we saw deployment of Windows node and creation of application using .NET 4.5 cartridge. Thanks for watching.